I had a few more questions I wanted to ask you before I got off here, and I actually wrote these down. So you, you were, uh, you and Jericho, you were in the Jericho Appreciation Society. Yes, sir. So Jericho picked you up right when you got there, right? Yep, yep. I uh, I was able to um, be on the first episode of Dynamite, um, so day one. And uh, it worked out. Um, Tony wanted a couple other guys at first. Um, he wanted um, Anthony Agogo, I believe. And then possibly he wanted um, uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson to be in the mm -hmm. group. Uh, but just randomly, uh, Chris and I were talking about this the other day, how we think it was just like it was fate. I was training for my second fight and he was training at the same place uh, with my coach. And we just randomly started bumping into each other. Um, he would get done and then I would start or I would get done and it'd be, you know, his turn to work out. And so we started talking and that's kind of what started the whole job interview process. Chris and I go way back. We've had a lot of long nights together. Um, and so uh, we had a history and he knew that uh, that he could count on me. And I think he went to bat for me with Tony and said, don't give me a guy like this. Give me the guy that who is this? You know, he, mm -hmm. he wanted a big, tough, scary guy. And I don't think anybody was tougher or scarier at that moment. So um, I really, really thank Chris uh, for going to bat for me there and uh, bring me into AEW. Well, they made a good choice. You brought up Chris Jericho. I remember when he first started in Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Uh-huh. I'll tell this story. How many? Well, he came in, and I didn't. He had that, he had that blonde hair. What was his partner's name, Storm? Blonde Storm. Yeah. 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 You see, James jumps in when I try to remember names. Because he knows that I can't remember him. Sorry, it's a bad but, habit, uh, Dutch. Uh, three's, a, three's a crowd. I'm sorry. Oh, that's it. Uh, and they were so green. They had just come from Canada. And uh, they, they they had started independence, working their way down, and got to Smoky Mountain, and Cornette liked them. And he used them good. And they went from there, and they went to Japan, and they – and Jericho finally worked worked enough. He, he he got his break, and he's he's made full use of it. I'm, I'm glad for him. Never a big guy, but he was a good thinker, good talker. He could get heat. He's the type of guy. I walked into a restaurant. You'd want to get up and slap the hell out right away if he just walked in and looked at you. You know who else who uh, have you have you met Jeff? Uh, Jack, Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, yeah, I met Jeff. So one night we was in Orlando, and I I just made up something. I said, Jeff, why don't you walk in and do that presidential heat walk? He said, what's that? I said, just walk in. I'm like, I'll beat the shit out of the first one of you stands up. And he <laughs> walked in, and I didn't know he was going to do it, and he stood there. And he looked at everybody in that bar and made eye contact with them. And finally, I saw one guy said, man, but you got a problem. He started to get up. And Jeff said, oh, no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But it's how you present yourself on the way to the ring. That's what I've often said about WWE. The girls go to the ring and they're smiling and like Ronda Rousey, oh, I love you. Then goes in the ring. Then she tries to be a badass. Mm -hmm. Well, she just had come in smiling. They need to bring that that character all the way from the door to the ring and leave with it. They don't do that there. I don't know why. I mean, WWE, they still, even though their product has gotten 100% better, they still make just basic mistakes. So 